For someone playing a lot with the Thrustmaster throttle, you'll notice one thing that everyone seems to complain about is the stickiness. When you're trying to make small inputs like this, and it just gets sticky. Well, look in the description below. I got this from Corehawk 3D. Came in this nice little package here. It's a replacement for the part in here that slides on that rail. It comes with a magnetic detent. It comes with both parts, I think, and the other parts of the plastic. Already opened this up to see, inspect everything, see how it comes out, but hide my address. But <clears throat> yeah, it's a little magnetic detent that you'll stick in there and it'll pass by and make a detent, which I'm not going to install that detent at all. So I could put it in later, I guess. So we'll just set that off to the side. But what you're going to do first is you're going to take all the screws off the back. All right, after you've taken the screws out, pull this panel off. Mine is disgusting. There's a lot of my husky left in here. Clean this up a bit. And you need to be very careful right here. What we're going to do is, we're going to remove the throttle handle. So we need to disconnect this arm here. So you don't want it to come off the potentiometer. So you got to be very careful with taking the screw off. So you put your thumb over the potentiometer to keep it from bowing or anything like that. Move the screw. Set it off to the side. And we'll pull that off. There. Don't lose that washer either. That's important. Alright, now we're going to remove the three screws here. And... Or... Right now, we're going to remove this ribbon strip from here. And just remember how this all connects. Like you had the weight here, goes through there, goes up here. Pull that off to the side. We're going to remove the three screws holding the throttle handle on. Okay, now with these screws removed, you can feed the cable through. Just be very careful with that connector. Alright, now the throttle handle is off. So next thing we want to do is remove these screws and we want to get this track off. We want to get this off. Remove the four screws that hold this on. Make sure you don't lose that connector. Which I'm pretty confident that all these screws are the same.
now we're going to remove these. Put this forward. Put it can. Without lifting up this rod too much. All right. Okay, now you can see with all the dog hair, all that this is, is it rides on the edges of that plastic, which is not a very good surface, and that's why it, it skids a lot, because it's sharp edges riding on the, the metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the O-rings, and we're going to get rid of this. This is uh, what we're replacing with this. So the adjustment screw goes this way. Looks bottom, if I'm not mistaken. You can see the previous person that had mine put a lot of grease. I don't know if that's factory because I bought mine second hand. So you can feel it's got more resistance, but it doesn't catch. It's smooth. Put these. And if you wanted to add the detent, now would be the time to set it down and you line up where the magnet there is with where you'd want it there. He has these in a couple different colors, so I went with orange just because uh, I like the accent. Let's put this bad boy back together. Never do your best not to break the potentiometer. All right, after we've got that mounted back down, we're gonna run the cable back through. My only complaint is I wish this hole was bigger. This is a little difficult to feed everything through it. If you can make it a hair bigger, that would be great. but I think it has something to do with the alignment, so I don't know if that's entirely possible. Right. 
this back in. We'll put our three screws back where they go. Remember how the cable went? Through here. Plug it back into the board here. Flex into place. Lift the wire back into its track. We'll take that potentiometer and we'll put it back over here. Don't forget the washer. Don't worry guys, I'm blocking my own light. Now that that's back on there, we can go ahead and put the uh, aligner cables back up with uh, where they need to go. Make sure all of them find their homes. Put this plate back on. Remember that this hole goes towards the front for the adjustment, which is not very important after we do this mod.
All right, after everything's tightened down, it has a lot more resistance, but it is definitely smoother. So we'll have to put it in Windows 11 and recalibrate it, and it should be good to go.